Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, a fair coin is tossed four times and a person win rupee one for each head and lose one rupee and fifty pesa for each tail that turns up. From the sample space, calculate how many different amounts of money you can have after four tosses and the probability of having each of these amounts. Let us now move on to the solution. And let us first write the sample space S for the experiment of tossing a coin four times. Now, since we are tossing a coin four times, so the total number of outcomes will be equal to 2 to the power 4. Since when we toss a coin, we have two possibilities. Either we get a head or we get a tail. So, the number of outcomes becomes 2 to the power 4, which is equal to 16. Let's now write the sample space. One of the possibilities is that we get all the head. Then the second one is that we get head in first three tosses and then we get a tail or the other one is we get head in two first two tosses and then we get a tail and then again we get a head then we get a head then we get a tail then again we get a two heads and after that May possible we get tail in the first toss and then we get three heads. Similarly, we write all the possible outcomes. So this is the sample space of the experiment of tossing a coin four times. Now, in all the outcomes, we see that either we get all the heads or we get all the tails or we get head three times and tail one time or we get two heads and two tails or we get three tails and one head. So there are five possibilities and we are asked to find the different amounts of money we can have after four tosses. So since there are five cases, we will have five different amounts of money after four tosses. So the first case is If all head appears, now we are given that person win rupee 1 for each head. So if all head appears, then the person wins. Rupees 4, after 4 tosses he win rupees 4. So this is one of the possibility that he wins rupees 4. Now the second possibility is that the person gets 3 head. And one tail. So if three head appears and one tail appears, then the person wins rupees three. Since he gets 3 heads, so he wins rupees 3 minus the amount which he lose, which is rupees 1.50, that is 1 rupee 50 paisa. So this is equal to 
1 rupee 50 paisa so the person wins rupees 1.50 now the third possibility is if two head and two tails appears if two tails appears then the person loses rupees 3 minus the amount which he wins he get two heads so he wins rupees 2 so the person loses rupees 3 minus 2 that is rupee 1 now the next possibility is that the person get one head and three tails So the person loses rupees. He gets three heads, then he loses three into one point five zero minus the amount which he wins, which is rupee one. So he loses. Three rupees fifty pesa. Now the next possibility is that if all tail appears, so if all tail appears, then person loses. rupees 6 so these are five amounts of money we can have after four tosses now we have to find the probability of having these amounts so in the first case e is the event of winning rupees 4 so the person wins rupees 4 if he get all the head. Let's now see in how many cases he get all the heads. So there is only one case in which he get a head in all the four tosses. So the number of outcomes favorable to E is 1. So the probability of winning rupees 4 is equal to the number of outcomes favorable to E which is 1 upon the total number of outcomes total number of outcomes are 16 now in the second case we have to find the probability of winning 1 rupee 50 pesa so here E is the event of winning rupees 1.50 now the person win rupees 1.50 if he get three head and one tail let's now see in how many cases he get three head and one tail so these are one two three and four so the number of outcomes favorable to e are four so the probability of winning one rupee fifty pesa is the number of outcomes favorable to E which are 4 upon the total number of outcomes which are 16 so the probability is 1 by 4 now in the third case we have to find the probability of losing rupee 1 so he, here E is the event of 
losing rupee 1 and in the case when he get two head and two tail he lose rupee 1 and there are six such cases when he get two head and two tails so the probability of losing rupee 1 is equal to the number of outcomes favorable to E which are 6 upon the total number of outcomes which are 16. So the probability is 3 by 8. Now in the next case we have to find the probability of losing 3 rupee 50 pesa. So here E is the event of losing 3 rupee 50 pesa. And the person loses 3 rupee 50 pesa when he, we, when he get 3 tail and 1 head. And in 4 such cases he get 3 tail and 1 head. That means he lose 3 rupee 50 pesa. So the probability of losing... 3 rupee 50 pesa is equal to the number of outcomes favorable to E. That is the number of outcomes when the person get 3 tail and 1 head upon the total number of outcomes which are 16. So the probability is 1 by 4. Now in the next case we have to find the probability of losing rupees 6. So here E is the event of losing rupees 6 and the person loses rupees 6 if he get all the tails that he gets tail in all the four tosses and there is only one such possibility when he get all the four tails. So the probability of losing Rupee 6 is equal to the number of outcomes favorable to E which is only 1 upon the total number of outcomes which are 16. So the probability is 1 by 16. So there are 5 different amounts of money which a person can win or lose. He can win rupees 4 which is a gain. Then he can win rupees 1.50. Then he loses rupee 1. Then he loses 3 rupee 50 pesa. Then he loses rupees 6. And we have obtained the probabilities of winning or losing these amounts. So this completes the question. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.